Hello there. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us today as we uh, carried for you live the memorial services uh, from the Dallas Police Department. And a lot of things have stood out in my mind and yours as well. Thank you for your text messages and also uh, for your comments on our comment line, 575-7668. One of the things that stood out to me, uh, and this was uh, something that Police Chief David Brown said yesterday, and President Obama reiterated it today. He said, uh, we expect police to be everything. We expect them to be counselors. We expect them to be parents. We expect them to be educators. And I happen to believe that this is not something exclusive to police. It seems to me that as a people, we are looking and wanting everybody else to do our work for us. And I don't know where we would get that idea. Hmm, let me think about it. Where would we get that idea? In my first 100 days as president, we will make the biggest investment in new, good-paying jobs since World War II. We're not cutting the minimum wage. We're raising the minimum wage. We're going to make college debt-free for all and help millions of people struggling with existing student debt save thousands of dollars. So with your help, we're going to make it so future students won't have to borrow a dime to attend public colleges or universities. For families making less than $125,000 a year, we will eliminate tuition at those schools altogether. And we will do more to help students cover all the costs of getting an education, including books, supplies, and living expenses. All Americans should be automatically registered to vote on their 18th birthday. This was all from one speech today. Your commander-in-chief promising for you everything. Do you know what it reminded me of when I heard it? This is what it reminded me of. Remember this? 2004, Oprah surprises the whole audience. It sounds a lot like... We're not cutting the minimum wage. We're raising the minimum you wage. You get a car. We're going to make college debt-free for all and help millions of people struggling with existing you student You get debt a car. thousands of dollars. So with your help, we're going to make it so future students won't have to borrow and a you dime get a car. to attend public colleges or universities. For families, everybody make, gets. Every single one of you desperately needs a brand new car. You get a car. I. Hey, you want to do something interesting today? You want to. Uh, Maybe I'll give you a little bit of an assignment here. Go to that crazy thing called the United States Constitution. Just go there for a second. You can Google it. It's there. And read the job and the powers of the POTUS. Because if you listen to, and this is for both sides of the aisle, and this is for every American that believes that the job of, that when they go to the White House, this is your experience at the White House as it seems to be perceived. I am Oz, the great and powerful. Yes. You go to Oz and you ask him for a heart. You ask him for free education. You ask him for a living wage. You ask him for everything. The Constitution assigns the following to presidential power. Sign or veto legislation. Command the armed forces. Ask for the written opinion of the cabinet. Convene or adjourn Congress. Grant reprieves and pardons. Receive ambassadors. 
minimum wage, we're raising the minimum wage. We're going to make college debt free for all and help millions of people of struggling with existing student debt save thousands of dollars. So with your help, we're going to make it so future students won't have to borrow a dime to attend public colleges or universities. <laughs> For families making less than $125,000 a year, we will eliminate tuition. You wonder why people are so frustrated with government? You wonder why? It's because we look at the White House and our government as a giant piggy bank to solve all the world's problems, all the woes. I guess that's the American dream, is you go to the great and powerful Oz and you ask him for a brain or a heart when the reality is... Pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. The great end Oz has spoken. Yeah. It's a myth. It's a fallacy. And just like our expectations of our police officers not working out so much, our heightened expectation that a commander-in-chief has the ability, the authority, and the means to change all of our lives, to grant us all the jobs that we dream of, free education, free health care. It really does sound a lot like... Everybody gets a call! <laughs> Doesn't it? Or is that just me?